Well, Zoro has uh, quite frankly set the bar quite high for the rest of Thriller Bark with that fight last episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. Again, last episode, we concluded the fight between Zoro and Ryuma and a very high stakes fight between two very talented swordsmen. And Zoro ended up winning and taking his blade. And it was like a sort of a respect between the two. But like I said, sort of setting the bar high for the rest of the arc because that fight was incredible. We're going to hop right into this one, see what's up. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and hit that big wood bell and let's get started <laughs> how dare you fight back like i said he's he's lost all remnants of sanji sad <laughs> chopper's just sitting crisscross applesauce and ores is soon to be the same because now he won't feel as bad fighting back yeah oh like he's given them another chance mm. i wonder why chopper's painting him in a good light then right but it turns out you're a hack <laughs> Slaps chest. God dang, he got drip, bro. What happened? Dang. Ropai made so much money. So that's how he got a name for himself. Oh, I know. Suffering from success. Huh, Hogback? You give it to him, Chopper. Come on. He ain't no doctor. <sighs> Damn. They're all fakes. Frauds. My question is how, uh, what's her name? The woman with him has like retained so much of her memories for so long and how she still hates him. Starts with a C. Oh. Oh my gosh. Sindri. Sindri chan. Oh my gosh. Chopper's gonna tell her to stop. Oh, this is so sad. It's so twisted. Oh, Chopper is pissed. Look how happy she used to look. Ugh. Oh, he was just obsessed with her? But he gave her a second chance at life just to use her as like a like a personal tool. Oh, that is so twisted. Wait, did he have her killed so that he could reanimate her himself? No, surely not. Was the stage thing an accident or was it on purpose? She wasn't his. You can't make me feel for him. She didn't love him. It wasn't an accident, was it, man? Oh, she did have someone. Oh my gosh. He couldn't have exactly what he wanted. Of some news. Oh, it actually was an accident. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be even more twisted that he had her killed and then just took her himself. It's still messed up, but still. His voice, bro. It's so good. So he just went grave digging? Oh my gosh. What a freak, bro. She's his Frankenstein. Well, he's her Frankenstein. I mean, he's the entire island's Frankenstein inherently. God. But again, I asked, why did she retain so much of her memories and whatnot as opposed to the other zombies? Like, she still hates him and seems to have a good idea of what's going on, but is still under his control. Dog, how does Gecko Moria fit in these rooms? Like, how does he get in? And her eyes are so lifeless in comparison. So yeah, what, what was the plate thing exactly again? I don't remember. There's something about her fiance with plates. Oh yeah, how kind of you to have her live in this world again to lick the floor for you, bro. That ain't what a doctor would do. He's a real hack. Oh, I want to see Chopper lay into hogback so bad. Spit, Chop! Spit, buddy! <sighs> Mediocre doctor! You shut your mouth. Up here are the plates. Ooh, these plates look heavy. Oh my gosh. Don't you dare threaten my boy. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Get in there. He's just gonna lay right into Hogback, man. He doesn't want to have to hurt Sindri. Oh, does he think he can get through to her? I mean, maybe he's realized there's like a sort of part of her in there. Maybe he can like free her mind. Then she'd actually have like somewhat of a second chance at life if he's able to free that much of her mind, which I feel like it's sort of leaning towards that. That's why it brought her up so early on and she's had such a heavy focus. Fuzz, 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 fuzz. 
Rose? He's not underestimating her. He doesn't want to have to hurt her. She's basically innocent in all of this. What's programmed in her that makes her obey him? Is it just because he created her? Or is it just because she's been here so long? That's your dream, bro. And you're not even resurrecting the dead. You're just making dolls. Yeah. It's the ability to feel. Oh? Did he get to her? <gasps> Partially? Wait, her eyes kind of like actually lit up. Wait, did Zoro zombie kind of? Will she let her? Oh. Nah, she snapped out of it. I figured it wouldn't be that easy. God dang, look at those legs on the zombie though. Zombie Zoro. Holy. The, the, the arms don't matter because he can break limbs and whatnot and not feel it. I guess it'd be like longer lasting implications. Oh, wait. Wait, it's perfect. Oh, shoot. It's like when a Minecraft skeleton shoots another one on accident and they just start slamming into each other. <laughs> Keep biting. Let's go. They're tearing the place apart. Now go for Hogback. Honestly, Hogback boy isn't even that much of a fighter. Like Chopper could probably beat him down. He can't control him if he can't speak to him. <laughs> They're trying to take out the pests, but see each other as pests. He issued the wrong order. Bro coded them wrong, man. They're just gonna just destroy each other. Oh, but they have to beat him salt. It's still Zoro and Sanji in there. <laughs> or rather tall. The jump up. Wait, what? Was she just testing him? Wait, why would he actually say that? The song in the background? This is so insane, man. Dog, they need to be fed salt. Wait, he thought she she tricked him into thinking like them, not them. Oh my gosh. Says you? Uh, it doesn't work like that. That's what you found out. Sendry is still back there. Yeah, Hogback, I'm guessing, is not a fighter. Is she crying? <gasps> her heart. Is she like resurrecting? Like knocked it into her. Oh. It's really sad. There is a lot, a still a large, large part of her left though. Uh, Orz is back home from his little venture. And he's more of a mindless monster than ever. He's like, welcome home, sweetie. I can't believe I, I didn't even realize up until this point, Luffy actually didn't know what Orz looked like because he was taken to the ship unconscious. So he didn't know what he was going to have to deal with here. But man, that was some really dark backstory with Sindri. And that was kind of along the lines of what I expected in terms of like uh, him bringing her back to life and everything. But knowing that like he knew her before and that he was obsessed with her, it's just, uh, it's, that's so messed up. Episode 364, let's run it. Earth to Sindri. She's like torn between her new and old self. Crocodile tears. You think a zombie is just gonna fake cry? It's like her heart, maybe. Yeah. The mysteries of resurrection. It's sort of like a, a leaning, like weights kind of going back and forth, like back between her zombie self and her actual self. And I think they could tip the scales eventually. They need to talk more, try and make her understand what's going on. He is running. There is no way. I knew he wasn't the fighting type. Oh no. He's back. Beat him down, Chopper. Beat him down. <gasps> oh, a pervert and a guy with a long nose and a moss head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Spit. What are they going to do to him? Please suplex him or something. Anything. I want this man to feel pain. Oh my gosh. Just plummet him to earth, Chopper. It's something I would love to see. I don't care. Dang. Ruby chose suplex. You're, you're not serious. You did not actually just cut away from that. Are you joking? You cut off the Robicho suplex. 
Yeah, he's gone, dude. Now, how much salt needs to get down him? Yeah, talk some sense into yourself, Luffy. I'm you, bro. Attached to your arm. You just put all the straw hats on there. Oh my gosh. Shopper's 50 berry bounty. Such a cute little bounty. Bro like, gave him like cheat notes. A little cheat sheet on his arm. I'm kind of scared of the full extent of his power. He's like, that, is that you? Mori is just running. He knows that it's going to get destructive. That's dangerous. Do you think he cares, Luffy? Ay -ay -ay. Oh, the suplex is still going. I see now. Oh, what a sick shot, though. Holy. All right, the suplex should still hurt a little bit, at least. Oh, man, it's all going down, baby. It's all going down. Just kicked off of him. That felt kind of good. Not as good as a suplex. A full suplex would have felt, but... Wait, where's Sindri? Dude. He's enormous. Dog, what killed him in his past life? Or was it just old age? Oh, they say he found him frozen. Maybe he just froze to death. Wait, Sindri can get stomped. Hogback too, but I don't care about him. No, Sindri, don't! Wait, could this be the end of Hogback? No way. It's up to Sindri to save him. Because Orz is going to walk right through them. Sindri, come on. I know you're in there. Make the right choice. He's not. They talk some sense into you. Your heart's still there. Oh, no. There's no way she goes out like that. That would just be insanely depressing. He's getting closer. It's like her life flashing for her eyes, her past life. I feel like if he pushes too hard, it's gonna it's gonna push back. Oh. It's like Chopper knows he doesn't even have to say anything, maybe. Like there's enough in there of her. She he changed her. <gasps> the smiles, she actually smiled. Hogback's done. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. No way. Just like that? Dog, why are you getting away from me? Stop. This show is just a monster. Oh my gosh. Everybody's going to be together again at this rate. Or is just collapsing the entire place. Wait, where's Hogback? Did he actually step on him? He only sees Soga King. He's like, that didn't look like him. <laughs> oh my gosh, even the church, the chapel. It's all coming to a head. He's just, just destroying it all. He's too large. Yeah, when is Nami gonna wake up, bro? Oh my gosh, Absalom. Now is not the time. He yoinked her. She turns invisible with him. Such, you know what happened. What do you mean couldn't be? He got up. Well, we know he wouldn't hurt Nami at the very least. I don't think. So did Hogback get crushed or not? He's gonna piss Sanji off. We lit a flame again. Just follow the sound of his voice, Sanji. Guess. Did my hair stand on end. Okay. <laughs> Never gets old. Duh. He's like, yeah, that's your whole thing. What is Zoro doing? Examining the new blade. I feel a lot better with him having three three swords again. You can't, Brock. <laughs> Frankie's sick of it. I saw it coming from a mile away. There he is. All right, they just need to like have like a group effort and getting salt into him. Because if they get salt into him, Orz is basically like done so. Like he'll, the body will just fall and then Luffy will be completely back. He can't be that fast too. How big he is. Curly cook. Is Sanji just standing? Oh my gosh. Bro, Moria is just running. <laughs> but he said that even if he takes him down, they like the, the shadows, like he has, oh wait, he just said he has to subdue him and like force him into doing it. But killing him won't do it. He has to manually do it himself. God, he really did have a pump cover on. This dude's huge. This is his entire focus is his wedding. It's incredible. He's a psychopath, but he's consistent. Oh, they're going to save her because she's stuck. Curse long nose. The almighty long nose. She's just stunned still from the roaches and the, the, the hammer. Oh, the whole mansion's about to collapse at this point. He's like, I've just got a goddamn attack on Titan, man. The posters. <gasps> Reunited and it feels so good. He 
He's just standing there. I like how they just taped the posters to his arm. Like, here you go. He's calling them. <laughs> calling his own crew. It's only a matter of time before Gecko, Moria, and Luffy get out here too. I guess all the fights are, are taken care of. Aside from the final boss and Gecko Moria, which is kind of like both final bosses. Zoro's feeling confident. I guess it's sort of all built to them fighting together because it's gonna take a team effort to either cut ores down and get salt down him, or just like, I mean, there, there's no there's no other way around it. They have to, to some extent. I mean, either that or they turn their focus to helping Luffy completely and it's just all of the Straw Hats versus Gecko Moria. But to an extent, which job is easier is the question. I feel like in, in, in theory, getting salt down ores would be easier than subduing Gecko Moria solely because ores is so big, he only moves so quickly and there's so many of them with different angles for salt. Well, I mean, this arc has kept me guessing from the beginning, so I, I'm not going to start uh, questioning anyth anything now or theorizing anything because it's just going to throw me curveball after curveball, and I, I love it either way. But guys, that has been it for episodes 363 and 364 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop a sub on the channel if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.